welcome back to my channel so today i got this amazing look for you i am so happy with this makeup look so all i want to do is to orange straight through the crease and just have a blue wing liner and i absolutely love the way it turned out it's fun i feel like it's like festival and summer inspired and i can't wait to share this look with you all if you like this look then please keep on watching so let's get started i'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the NYX Brow Gel in Brunette. All the brushes I'm using today are from the Morphe 18 Feast Sable brush set. So I'm not really going to explain too much how I do my eyebrows. I do have an eyebrow routine on my channel, so I'll link that in the description below so you can have a look. So now I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Brow This Way brow mascara and that is just going to be lock in the eyebrows and keep them in place all day. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and just like a flat concealer brush. I'm just going to try and carve out my brows, nothing too dramatic, just so it to tidy up a bit. And I also put the concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow. And after that, so I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 220 just all over the eyelid, brow bone, crease area just to set that so the eyeshadow doesn't move when I apply it. And I put some tape on and go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette in the colour Salted Caramel and I'm just putting that on the outer edge of my eye and just working that in to the inner part of my eye, just in the crease. And I'm just going in with that like orangey colour. I really just wanted to have like an orange kind of crease to balance out with the blue eyeliner. I'm just going to keep applying and just blending that in with the same brush. It's nothing too technical. I'm just going in with different colours. I went with a brown colour and now I'm going in with salted caramel again and different brushes to kind of blend it out. So now I'm going in with white chocolate from the chocolate bar palette and just applying that on the lid and blending that into my crease. I'm taking this sleek Solstice palette in that peachy shade and use that to highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. Now I'm going in with my sleek nautical palette and I'm just going to create my own blue eyeliner. I just scraped out some of the blue pigment from the palette and sprayed a few sprays of my MAC Fix Plus on it. It just mixed it together until it like formed a paste and it makes the perfect eyeliner and it was so easy to do. Literally, if you don't have an eyeliner, you don't even need to go out and buy one. You can just make one yourself like I did and it turned out so much better than I actually expected. Probably better than most blue eyeliners. So I just did that, created a wing. I also have a wing liner tutorial on my channel so I'll link that down below as well. So that's just the wings there. So now I'm going in with my Bourjois Colon Contour Eyeliner. I'm just tight lining my eyes. So now I use my Bambi Eyelashes by Tanya Burr. I'm just going straight into foundation. I use the Revlon Color Stay Foundation and the L'Oreal True Match. I'm not too sure on the shades, but they don't even match me anyway, so it really probably doesn't benefit anyone. But I just go in with them, just apply with my damp beauty blender all over my face. So now I'm going to go in with my cream contour kit by Contour Cosmetics. I'm just using the darkest shades just to contour around my face. And literally, that's so why I'm just putting on my cheekbones, putting it around my forehead putting it on my nose, on my chin and I'm just going to blend that out with my damp sponge once again. It's not actually a beauty blender, it's actually a medical complexion sponge by Real Techniques. So 
Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm just highlighting and concealing my face. So under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and on my chin. I'm just going to blend that out once again with my sponge. So now I'm going in with my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder I'm just going to bake under my eyes so we dab out the creases with our wet sponge and then bake under the eye with a dry sponge and this is a really good technique, I absolutely love it. I just go in with a big fluffy brush with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and just set the rest of my face. So now I'm going in with my Tanya Bar Rosy Flush Cheek Palette. And I'm just using the bronzer just to like contour and bronze my face like at the time I didn't actually have a contour kit so I just use this as a contour and for a bronzer and it works absolutely well. Now I'm going in with my Max Factor Baked Blush. I'm not too sure what the shade is. It's something berry, but it's a really pigmented blush. I bet it's absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to go in my Sleek Solstice Palette once again with the same peachy shade. I'm going to be highlighting my face. So just on top of my cheekbones, top of my forehead, my nose. I'm not too sure if I did my Cupid's bow. I think I might have forgotten to do that, but I usually do that as well. So now moving on to lips, I'm going to use my Tiramisu Lip Liner by Rimmel and I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. Um, it's an orange one, I'm not sure the shade, I'm really bad at shades and stuff but I'll make sure to leave all of the information in the description down below. So now moving on to my lower lash line, I'm using the Barry M Coal Pencil in white just to fill in my waterline. And I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and use Salted Caramel and that orangey shade of my Sleek Nautical palette. I'm just going to buff those under my eyes together just to get a seamless blend. And then I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Natural Bronzer just to give it a bit of definition just below. But I didn't want to do too much because it's very top heavy and I just wanted to keep it nice and simple at the bottom. And after that, I just go in with my Clinique Lash Power Mascara to finish off the look. And that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye! So this is the finished makeup look guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, I had so much fun creating it for you and I just absolutely love it, I'm just so in love. I hope you all try and recreate this look, any orange eyeshadow through the crease and blue wing liner is so easy, I made my blue wing liner with eyeshadow because I didn't have blue wing liner and it came out so much better than I hoped for and I'm so happy with this. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and please leave any comments in the down bar below. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram, so please follow me on those. And I also have a Facebook page called Makeup by Valerie Stormer. So if you want to check out my looks there as well, kind of the same with my Instagram, but more low-key. Like, it's raw footage, no editing at all whatsoever. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye guys! Savannah